Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a Monday, Tuesday vlog. I got home from Bernie last night, kind of like settled in and I'm ready for a good week ahead. Today I have a doctor's appointment with another new doctor. I'm finally getting all my doctors set up and that's at three and I'm gonna try to make a four o'clock bar class after that. Probably isn't gonna 50-50 shot, I'll be able to make it. But um, it's gonna be just a, a good productive day and tomorrow is a fun day. We have a photo shoot, which will be a lot of fun. Something else that is really exciting is actually a few weeks ago, I had a happy little mail time haul uh, for a really cool brand called Italic. And sadly, we were trying to get a promo code and we couldn't get it in time. So I cut it out of that vlog, but we successfully got a promo code. So I'm going to actually enter it into this haul. Um, so Italic is partnering with me on this video, meaning that everything that I got, I'll be able to link down below. We have a code, so I'm gonna share it with you now. I have code Mikel10, and that will get you $10 off at least a $50 order, which is awesome. This is a really cool brand. I've been wearing their cashmere joggers a lot. You'll see them. You've seen them in past vlogs. You'll see me unbox them for the first time now. So let's just hop to that, and then we can get on with the rest of our day. I am so excited for a little haul. I just got four clothing items and some candles from Itali, and I'm so excited that they exist. They are a marketplace, and they have clothes and homeware and cashmere things, which I did get something cashmere. Their concept is luxury without the markup. So they partner with manufacturers from brands that are very highly regarded, very nice, expensive brands, and basically bring you super similar products from the exact same manufacturers for like 50 to 80% off. I say let's start with some little workout gear. This is the Aura Racerback Sports Bra, and then I also got the matching high-waisted leggings. This is from the same manufacturer as Stella McCartney, and this sports bra. 25 bucks, pretty good, right? And this beautiful slate color. The material feels nice and thick and I love sets. I feel so much more confident working out in a set. So I thought that this would be a fun thing to add into the mix for my summer workouts. Let's try it on. Okay, I gotta say for how nice and thick this material is, it has such a good amount of stretch. Like I'm actually kind of surprised at how incredibly stretchy this is and it makes it so comfy. This color is really cute and it's very flattering. I like the um, racer back style of this bra and I'll show you the way that this looks in a full body mirror too. They have the 7 8 length. This is the full length. I like to mix it up and I like the full length. I wanna try these on. This is what I'm most excited for because this is most Mikkel. These are cashmere joggers and it's from the same manufacturer as, you know that fancy French brand? I think it's pronounced Maj, um, and also Sandro. Same manufacturers as them. These are nice. Traditionally, they say that these would be like 175, and these are 95, so a, a nice little luxury good, but you still are saving a lot, and I cannot wait to see what cashmere joggers feel like. These joggers. <gasps> these, I feel like, ultimate luxury. They're so flattering. I love that they're high-waisted. I love the little pocket in the back right here. And they're actually a great length for me. I am five foot seven and sometimes joggers can read a little bit small um, and a little bit short, but these read perfectly. And oh my gosh, cashmere joggers. Did we even know that that could be a thing? Cause I didn't and now I'm so excited to know that it's a thing. I walk the trails around the lake with Max almost every single day and on cold days everybody's wearing a puffer and I don't own a puffer and so I got a puffer. This is from the same manufacturer as Mackage and Max Mara and guess what this is estimated? $1,125 but it's $150 so <laughs> that is a huge discount and something I'll probably wear uh, year after year after year especially in cold weather so let's see how it fits. This is so nice and it's gonna be so good. Texas freezes, which I kind of forgot about living in LA for a while. And so to have a proper winter coat is gonna be awesome. And is it weird to say, I love the way it smells. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited to own a proper winter coat. Next, you'll know I'm a candle girly, especially nice candles. So I think the candles are the ultimate gift. So I thought it'd be fun to get three of them and then let you know the scents. But this is from the same manufacturer as Hermes and also Vera Wang. And they estimate this to be $78, but they're 16 on Italic. So the first one is black pomegranate sandalwood. 
Ooh, look how sleek. Mmm. Next, lilac jasmine sandalwood. Ooh, this one's very clean. Which one's gonna be the winner, in my opinion? And the black currant bergamot. Ooh, <laughs> this is my favorite. They're all really great, but this one smells really good. Kind of sweet, but kind of almost smoky. Okay, this is good to know. I, honestly, I might stock up on a few of these as gifts because that looks so nice and it doesn't look like they're what you pay for. <laughs> this is fun. Thank you guys for allowing me to mix in a haul. I was kind of missing them because they're just, they're just simply just very fun. Very fun for me. So like I said, I'm going to have all these things linked down below. You should peruse their site though. They have like over 500 different things, even cookware, which is, can be really expensive. So if you can get discounted cookware, great thing. I'm going to have all those things linked down below. Thank you again to Italic for partnering with me on this video. And um, let's get this day officially started. So I ordered groceries and I'm waiting for those to get here before we strike out and do something. But I, if I were to summarize the way I've been feeling the last month or two, it's just restless, like super restless, wanting to just be go, go, go. And I was telling my mom, I'm so thankful that I've been traveling and taking trips and just like doing fun things, but I'm also a little bit worried that I've rewired my brain to where like that's the norm. And so now just even a couple days of like normal life, I, I'm like, I need to go do something. I want to go, ah, I want to go do something. And I don't know. I don't, I don't think that that's maybe healthy, but that is yet again, how I'm feeling today. All of my computer work is not really going to come through until the evening today and that appointment is not until three so i'm kind of like after groceries get here i want to go and do something i don't know what that is but i am going to tidy things up i just got a notification i have some packages and wait for groceries before we calm that side of me down a little bit <laughs> y'all want to see what my grocery orders look like nowadays that i basically live off of butcher box for me and daily harvest for frozen food and then i get all of my pantry stuff at thrive market so grocery orders nowadays are like a little bit of produce and a lot of beverage mom sent me home with granola so i got bananas for granola some snacking produce i got sugar snap peas and then i know kids watch this channel so i'm not gonna say the sauce out loud but it's my favorite it's so good usually some sort of fun fruit Feeling in a pineapple mood. Avocados, but I don't have bread for toast. And then they canceled my just eggs for scrambles. And then so many beverages. I got two things of sparkling water. I got three things of this type of Oatly because they're out of like the regular Oatly. So we got the little barista ones. Three of this is my favorite kombucha at the moment. I also still love the lemonade by GTs, but the watermelon wonder is so good for summer. And then three of these have been my favorite green juices because these don't really have any fruit in them, so they don't have any sugar. It's cucumber, celery, oh, grapefruit, but it's not like a, it's not like an apple or a pear or something, you know? Green, chard, and lettuce. So five grams of sugar, not bad, but there's also other things in here as well, like lettuce juice, lemon juice, kale juice, spinach juice, parsley juice, lots of other little things. So lots of greens, I've been loving these. And that's it. That's all I really get from the store anymore, thanks to all the other places I get food nowadays, which is great. Makes life very easy. Fun little errand. I took y'all's suggestions, and a lot of people said that I should print some of my uh, film photos from Boston and Maine to play around with the gallery wall. So I just sent a couple to this Walgreens and I'm about to pick them up. I'm excited to see what they look like physically. I can see right across the street there's a Gordo's Public House, which Gordo's is a very famous food truck here in Austin of like the most excessive exquisite donuts. A single donut can feed like four people. <laughs> but um, I haven't been to Gordo's since I was a child before being diagnosed with celiac disease. I don't think I can eat a single thing there, but I'm just kind of curious to check it out and see what the physical location looks like. And I'm sure they have coffee. Maybe grab a coffee, just like something very Austin for us to see. And I've been curious about what that's like. So a fun couple little stops. I'm gonna run in, grab the pictures, and um, I will be right back for a photo reveal. Moment of truth. Let's see how they print it. Let's see if they look good. I also did not know if four by six or five by seven would be better. So I ordered a couple in both. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. there's the lighthouse. There's Boston. I like this one a lot. I ordered this in a five by seven also to be safe. 
There's, ooh, just some little stores in Kinabunkport. And is that it? Did I just do those four? These two are my favorite. So I ordered those in the five by seven also to be safe. So fun. Also, okay, little car chat, nothing serious, just something pretty interesting. I hope it's okay to share this. Oh, mom, I'm about to share family stuff, so I hope that's okay. But basically, long story short, we recently found out that who my grandmother thought her father was, was not, and is someone else. And so we have like a whole different family tree that we didn't know was our family tree. And um, we are direct descendants of Daniel Boone. Isn't that interesting? Who knew? Who knew? And they're all history buffs, so they're having a fun time um, going through all the historical family lineage and figuring out exactly how we fall into that. Um, okay, let's go check out Gordo's just for something fun before we go back home and do essential errands. Okay, that was not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> it's like a bar. Like they have like a full bar and very rustic bar vibes. And I told her I was on the hunt for coffee and they had some exciting looking things. They had a donut coffee and I was asking her about it. And she was like, yeah, so that's like butter and icing in your coffee. <laughs> so she was basically like, don't do it. She's like, how about I make you an iced latte? We could do something fun like creme brulee. And I was like, ooh, okay. So she, they don't have, oh, this is an almond milk creme brulee latte. It has quite the whipped cream caramel drizzle. Surprisingly not too sweet. And I very much appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just got the sweet. Thank you for appeasing my need to check out new coffee shops. You know, it's something that makes me very happy. It's, it's a hobby, I would say. And I've only ever got one comment that said that they were bored of coffee shops. So to everybody else that has allowed me to do this, I thank you deeply. <laughs> I'm thinking the water picture that I love going in this frame. Yeah, I like that a lot because those are all cool tones. I'll show you closer when we hang it. And then I have these two things. There's our Nashville flower and then this empty frame that we got at the other thrift store. And the thing is, is that too many circles? Okay, so I think I don't like these frames here. I do like this photo in this frame and I love this photo in this frame, but I, I don't, I, I think it's, the gold circle is too repetitive. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna take these down for now until I find something else to eventually finish that out. But for now, I actually think that this helps the color palette feel, feel more cohesive because the blues of the ocean bring in the blues of little Mikkel's dress. So from afar, that's what we're working with. Uh, it has, it, it's, it's not great, but it's gonna be a slow process. It's 1.30 p.m. Productive day starts now for me. Here's the plan. Tidy up house, get some computer work done, doctor's appointment, workout class, get the rest of my computer work done, maybe do something for myself like a teeth whitening strip tonight, early to bed. Get ready for the shoot in the morning. Please enjoy.
Okay, I just pulled up to the shoot and I have a couple minutes before I have to go in. So I wanted to talk quickly about like the feeling of restlessness that I know I mentioned yesterday and I think probably on the vlog before that because there's really no other way for me to describe it except for just kind of feeling like restless and antsy and just wanting to I don't know do things um yesterday I did a few things last night I kind of I kind of took the night for myself and did a few things that I haven't done in a while and I felt so much better and so much more at peace and I was like wait this kind of like not cured but at least lessened that feeling one thing was I have not done like a workout where I sweat in so long because lately I've been of the mindset of if I'm going to work out, I kind of want to like try to build a little bit of muscle, try to like add something, you know, I just haven't done any sort of cardio, but I, I forgot just like the mental benefits of moving your body in that way. So about 30 minutes into that workout yesterday, I was like, oh, wait, like, I feel a lot more calm mentally. Also, another thing is I ate that huge bowl. I got heavy dressing. Hunger doesn't feel like hunger for me, but instead when I get hungry, I, I feel it more like mentally and emotionally. So eating like a big, healthy, filling meal, I think also helped me as well. And then lastly, I reached out to some friends, made dinner plans for tonight, made plans with Kaylee's and just like got things on the calendar. So I know that I have things to look forward to. And lastly, this is so silly, but I let myself watch a little bit of trash TV when working. Selling Sunset is officially my guilty pleasure. We love real estate, you know, you mix real estate into some trash TV. I'm all for it, but I'm feeling a lot better today and this morning. I'm feeling just like very content. I sweat out some things. I'm feeling nourished. I have healthy, fun plans on the calendar and I did something just for fun. And I don't know, maybe that's a formula and a recipe for success and for feeling better about that. Uh, it's actually 11 now and we, can you see the storefront back there? Frankie Jean, we're gonna go in and do this thing. Nothing out there could ever stop me From chasing after the way you la 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 love me Keeping me up two cups of coffee Baby, you make me feel so la 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 lovely I keep on wanting, no, I shouldn't want it, I That was a lot of fun. And um, I know I mentioned I needed a birthday present for my friend Julia that I'm seeing tonight. And so I got her the cutest hat when I was there. That's so cute. And then was like, do y'all have any like gift bags? Look at the free bag, it comes in. That's so cute. I'm just gonna add some tissue paper and bring it tonight. But I'm gonna knock out some work, make a little latte and get all the computer stuff done for the day so that I can have fun tonight. I also scheduled my first ever um, like car detailing through this new app. Oh, it's literally called new because I'm used to using Washos in LA and I tried to schedule the first one here and it doesn't come here. So I parked literally, I can see my car um, because that way hopefully I can just unlock it whenever they get here and I'm hoping that works out. I'm off to work. Thanks for coming to the shoot with me. It was, it was a lot of fun. It's fun just like getting to hang out with sweet girls, you know? Here is the outfit for tonight. I kind of want to belt this. I feel like it would look better. Oh, I could do the same tie belt that we <laughs> discussed on that green dress, actually. It, it would tie in the black of the shoes. Let me try it, BRB. I don't know. It's simultaneously like better and worse. Maybe I'll just go with it. I do think the shoes help tie it in. At least it makes it look more like it fits me. Hmm. I know you're all dying to know. We went with no tie. No tie today, but this is fun. I just found parking and I didn't really realize that this is downtown, which I never come to and should honestly probably explore more of downtown. So we're super close to the Capitol. Stunning. Um, I mean, like, look, there's like proper 
buildings and city city type stuff. <laughs> and I'm a little bit early, so I might walk around and, and meander a little bit. You got me shaking, yeah, I feel the fever coming on. Oh, you know you're all I want. Keep saying that I hate it, but it's kind of fun. Watching me. it's all like church themed like the seats were pews and the glass was all stained glass and it was interesting they had live music so that was fun and then the patio had those awesome like flower installation and then we went on a hunt for ice cream and Amy's was closed so we ended up going to um, a diner and just getting they got pie I got vanilla ice cream and it was a good old time and I'm going to end the vlog here and upload all this footage tonight and get started on a whole new video tomorrow. But I wanted to say thanks one more time to Italic for partnering with me on this video. Uh, don't forget that the links do help to support my channel and I will have my $10 off code down below as well if you spend at least $50, which is awesome. Glad we finally got that for y'all. I love you. He's being so, <laughs> put that away. <laughs> but um, I hope you'll have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another video very soon. Okay. Good night. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Talking to here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?